Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become a certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In this lecture, we're going to show how we can control our surface with control points. So we have this planner face here. Now let's go to surfaces and to freeform. Let's choose this face. And let's add a new curve here. And let's put this curve like this. Let's uncheck add curves. And now when we have this curve, if we click on this curve, we see that we have only two arrows that we can control. Only two points, this point and this point here. Now we have an option here that we can add more points. So let's go back like this. And here we have control points. So here we can add a new point. So let's click here. And now we can go to our curve and we can position this point anywhere where we want on this curve. Like here, 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 like this. And now we added one, two, three, four new points. Now we can also click on this point and we can control our surface now more precisely. Like this. And also we can go to our arrow and we can also control this point as well. Let's click on this point and now we can see our triad here. And we see that we have triad orientation here and that is global orientation. Now if we click on this Y axis, we can drag this up and now we can position our point as well. We can go to X direction and you can position here. This is one option. Another option is that we can put here a value. So we can go here, for example, to five. Here we can put 15. Now we can, by putting value position our point, we can go minus five like this. So this is one triad orientation global. We can go to surface. Now we see that we have different orientation, this one, and we can go to curve. And now we have this orientation like this. As well, here we have a checked triad follow selection. If we uncheck this and now if we move our point, we see the triad doesn't follow the point. Now if we check this, now we see that the triad follows the point, if we move our point. Like this. If we want to control few points simultaneously, we can click on this point, hold control, this point, hold control, and this point. And now we can move this, and now we can see that our three points are moving simultaneously. So this is also possible here. And now we got this shape. Now let's go here to control curves. So we have here a control type. In previous lectures, we used true points. Here we have another option and that is control polygon. So let's check this one and let's choose this curve. And now we can see here that we have here a control polygon. So we can choose here this point and we can position this point anywhere where we want as well. This one, and this one. So this is also the option here that we have. So now we showed how we can control our surface with control curves and control points. If you're tired of watching on YouTube videos and buying cheap courses who always leave you wishing and wanting for more, and you want to have personal support to learn the SOLIDWORKS from the absolute zero to the professional level to improve and start your career, Check the link below and visit our Super SOLIDWORKS Accelerator Academy. As well, if you like this video, click like and subscribe.